So I want to make a quick video tonight to talk about how to add uh, GraphQL to existing FastSpy service. I recently ran into a, a situation recently where I had an existing FastSpy service and I wanted to add GraphQL uh, into that endpoint. And one of the uh, challenges I had there is that uh, uh, the current version of FastSpy doesn't really work with, a, with Apollo. Um, it does work for Express. But if uh, you want to add GraphQL into existing FastSpy service, uh, you can use this tool called uh, Mercurius. And so it's one of the plugins that's available for FastSpy, and it makes it very easy to add uh, GraphQL to your site. So with that, let's go ahead and take a quick look at uh, what I've been working on. So this right here, this server, this is a very simple server. Uh, it's just returning uh, two different routes. This route here, returns back essentially a list of uh, book objects. And so if we want to see what that looks like, uh, I'm going to go ahead and run this. And if I bring my browser over here, go ahead and call that. You can see we get this hello world, which is essentially this first route right here. And if I want to turn books, At books, and this returns back a list of books. All right. So now I want to take that uh, specifically that books. And I want to make it a GraphQL endpoint uh, that we can query uh, using a GraphQL client. And so let's uh, take a quick look here at uh, how how we can do that. So the first step I'm going to do here is I need to bring in uh, the Mercurius uh, plugin. And so the way you do that is I'll go ahead and kill the server. I'm going to come over here and I'll type in npm i for install Mercurius. And that's going to add Mercurius into our project. And now that I've done that, uh, one of the things I want to do is I want to be able to take this uh, data here and I want to refactor that out so that uh, I can use this in... Um, not just my route, but also any uh, resolver that I need to use for my GraphQL. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to copy this, and I'm going to put this into its own function. So let's go over here. We'll call this function bit books, and we will turn that. So now we've got our, our get books function. And I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to replace this with get books. All right. So now uh, this will use this function here and I can reuse this now with my GraphQL. The next thing I need to do is I need to import uh, Mercurius in here. So let's come over here. I'll say import Mercurius from Curious, and there it auto-completed for me. And now that I've done that, now I need to go in here, I need to define uh, my type definition uh, or schema, and I also need to do my resolver. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. So if we're looking at this, we can see here that the object itself looks like uh, it's got three properties on it. It's got an ID, which is an integer type value. It's got uh, title, which is a string, and author, which is a string. So what I can come up here and do is I can say const type def, and we're going to make this equal to this tick mark here. Now that I've done that, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to define a type book. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to say type book, and then my book it's going to have an ID, which is going to be of type ID. And I'm going to have a title, which is going to be of type string. And then we're going to have an author, which is also going to be of type string. So now I have defined my type book. Now what I want to do is I want to go in here. I want to define uh, the query itself. So I'm going to say type query, and for the query, we are going to uh, just include this one uh, type here, book. So we'll say books, 
is going to equal to an array of book. And that should take care of our definition. So now I've, I've defined the, uh, the schema or the type definition for my GraphQL. The next thing I need to do is I need to define a resolver. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to define a resolver by saying const resolver. And I'm going to make this equal to, and for this, uh, actually, let's make this call this resolvers. Uh, even though we only have one, uh, if you need to put multiples in here, we can do that using this. So now what I want to do is I'm going to define my query. And in that query, I'm going to have a property called books or a function called books that's going to be a async function. And we're just going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to return get box. And in this case, I think we need to put the semicolon there. So that takes care of our box. Now that I've done that, now we need to register Mercurius uh, with this uh, type definition resolver. And that's actually pretty easy to do as well. All we have to do is come over here, take our Fastify, and we are going to register this plugin. Oops. Register this plugin to Mercurius. And inside of here, we're going to find an object. In that object, we're going to have the schema. And we're going to make that equal to our type def. And the last thing I need to put in here is the resolvers. And we're going to make that equal to our resolvers object here. There we go. And one last thing I'm going to add in here. Uh, we would have a GraphQL client, so I'm going to add a GraphQL client. So all you have to do is say graphical true. And now uh, what will happen is when we go to run this, it's actually going to uh, create a uh, test client that we can use to, to write our queries. So now I've done that. Let's go ahead and save this and try running. And that looks like that's running. So I'm going to bring my browser window right here. And so now if I come over here, I'm just going to refresh this and open up the documentation. And we can see here is this query. And inside the query, we have this uh, books. And that books is going to have uh, an array of book. And it's going to have the ID and all that stuff here. So we can start testing our query here. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to say query book query. And we're going to say query books. And in the books, we're going to have our ID, our title, and our author. And let's go ahead and run that. And we see we get an error message here because it's expecting query. All right. Hold on one second. Actually, I've doubled up here. I don't need that. Don't need that. And that brings back uh, our list of queries. And then I can also amend that if I don't want to include the author. I want to include the ID. I can just delete that from our query. Oops. Run that again. And you can see it's just eliminated from the query. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you like the content of this channel, please subscribe to my channel. I'll, I can do more books or I can do more videos like this. Uh, and with that, have a nice evening. I hope uh, if you have any questions, please leave in the comments down below. Thank you.